Gates. Well, I'm joined by Noam, whose uh, mother has been taken hostage. No, I'm so sorry to hear what you're going through. You were saying before that today you were actually supposed to meet your mum from Heathrow Airport to celebrate her 75th birthday. Yep, right now I was supposed to go and be on my way to, to pick her up. And uh, she was very much looking forward to come here and celebrate with her at, uh, her 75th birthday, uh, actually in a lovely place in Devon. Uh, she loves Devon. And when was the last time that you heard of your mum's whereabouts? So on, on the 7th of October, on Saturday morning, uh, um, my mum had an exchange with my sister, actually, because of the time difference. She didn't want to wake us up here. Um, and she said that she is uh, seeing and hearing too many people outside and she's really worried she's going into the safe room. In Israel, in, every, in the kibbutz, in every house, there is a safe room which is designed to protect them from shelling and rockets, but not from people trying to, to come in. There is no way to lock it from inside. And you were saying before that where you grew up, because you grew up um, in, the, in this place as well, it's a, an incredibly tight community, uh, 400 people. So you all know each other so well. You were raised by so many other people who were also missing. You know, it's just heartbreaking. Uh, every picture I see, it's people I grew up with, it's people I know. It's my math teacher and my swimming teacher and the people I used to work with and, and the, you know, mothers of other... It's, it's like one big family. So it, it's even more difficult to, to... because you go through the pain of each of the families and it's almost... Uh, take, take, take your pain times 200. And what was your, your main message you wanted to get across to everyone today? My main message today is for the immediate release of all the civilians, especially the under 18 and the over 65, without any conditions, just to release them in accordance with the international law and the human code. At some point, even for the war, there is rules and we need to act within those rules. If it's soldier to soldier, I get it. I understand. They're suffering. I understand. If you want to fight, fight. How can you fight over a nine-month-old baby and an 80 years old sick woman? There's more than 80 people from, just from my community, from the kibbutz, who's been captured. Most of them are kids and, and the elderly. It's like really relocating a care home. Vulnerable people that have been snatched out of their beds into Gaza. I, I think at some point this is our job to, to hold leadership, humanity. Where are the lines? Where are the lines? How do we draw them? How do you use your power through the camera and your audience to think in, in, and sink into your heart and think, why are we here for? If it's not for the basic human conduct of how come that nine month years old baby, nine month old baby can be part of this? I, 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 it's beyond me. I've got a question from the uh, uh, presenter Mark Longhurst. So I'm just going to see what Mark wanted to ask you. Uh, yes, Lisa, I was just wondering, with Anthony Blinken saying the United States uh, was helping to try to get the refugees released, uh, but clearly the assessment now that Hamas basically are not people to negotiate with, uh, what your thoughts are about the ground offensive and the fact that the families will still be in Gaza at that stage? Um, Mark was just saying about um, what are your thoughts on the proposed ground offensive with the people like your mum, hostages also being in Gaza, if that goes ahead. Mark, you know, any escalation won't help anyone. I think uh, everyone needs to prioritise the young kids, the babies, people with autism and people with dementia, 
that find themselves uh, uh, caught up in this. The only crime is being Jewish living in Israel, and they need to be out of that. Any escalation won't serve that. So whatever the plans, I don't know. I'm trying not to get too much into what is happening. I'm just trying to, to stay positive, head on, and try to call to anyone that have a pumping heart in them to get the civilians, the under 18s, the over 65 out of this first. Second, if there is a fight, soldier should soldier. I, 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 I can understand that. I just thank you so much for speaking with us today. And once again, I'm so sorry for everything you're going through. And I really hope you get the good news that you're wishing for. Thank you.